attention. I'm Cassandra Badzak and this is the show that teaches you how to take care of your body and nourish your soul through food, meditation, helpful tips to help you create a life that lights you up. And today we are expanding on a topic I briefly mentioned in my first video called self-love or self-sabotage. Every bite we take. So Again, I talked about it when I was giving you guys some tips. If you haven't checked out that video already, I'll link it below so you can get a jump start on some of my, my five tips to really launch into eating with intention. But I wanted to expand upon every bite is a choice of self-love or self-sabotage because I think it's really important and it's really helped me along my journey bring a tremendous awareness to what I'm putting in my body. So to elaborate a little bit is when we're putting something in our body, when we're making a choice at a restaurant, when we're cooking something and we're reaching for a snack, every, everything we have either has the energy of self-love or self-sabotage. Or you can think about it as it either feels expansive or it feels contractive. It feels good or it feels bad. And so it's not so black and white in the way that you might think like, well, duh, ice cream feels bad and you know, kale salad should feel good not so clear because you can eat like for instance um, I was just snacking on an apple here and this is a food that right now feels like love feels self, like self-love I eat to nourish my body it feels good it's a great snack that energizes me and I feel expansive when I'm eating it but if you would have asked me four or five years ago how does eating an apple make you feel it would not have been self-love, it would have been towards fear, towards, it would have been almost like a prison snack because I was living in a mentality where I was restricting and I, I couldn't have, you know, I wanted the cookie but I couldn't have the cookie so I had to have the apple and it, it didn't really feel good at all, it didn't feel expansive at all. So just because the food is healthy or, or not healthy doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, clearly love or, or clearly fear or, or, or sabotage. So when you pick up your food, I challenge you for you know the next week or two to really, before you put, um, put anything in your body, think, hey, does this feel expansive? Does this feel good? Um, is this self-love? And it's okay if it's not sometimes. It's okay if you're reaching for the potato chips after watching something on Netflix and you're like, this does not feel like self-love. This doesn't really feel expansive, but you know what? Right now I really want to eat these potato chips regardless. That's fine. We're just bringing the awareness to it. We're just getting you in this conversation with yourself so that you're really noticing your patterns, really noticing, and slowly but surely, you will start leaning towards the foods that feel like self-love. Naturally, you're gonna start, once you really bring that attention to it, you're gonna to lean towards the foods that make you feel expansive, that make you feel good just by looking at them, by thinking about eating them, not even when you start considering what they're gonna be doing to your body. And the way, also, one thing you can experiment with during this week where you're bringing that attention to your food, is let's say I pick up this apple and I'm thinking about it and I'm like right now it still feels kind of like self-sabotage, it doesn't really feel expansive because it feels like I'm punishing myself by eating this and not having the cookie, right? If that's where your head's at, cool, that's where your head's at, no judgment. Then you just need to say, okay, but I'm willing to see, I know on an intellectual level that this apple is a great snack for me, I know it's healthy for me, you know, with whatever food you're talking about. And just be willing to see it differently. So I'm willing to see the love in this. I'm willing to see the self-love in eating this instead of having that cookie, instead of seeing the fear in it, instead of seeing that, you know, that Im imprisonment or whatever it is. And, and then allow, that's when you welcome in the shift. That's when we welcome in the miracles. Just by being, hey, I'm willing. Right now, I'm going to be honest, eating this salad does not feel expansive. But I'm willing to see the love in this. I'm willing to to see how this is nourishing my body, that this is really taking care of myself, and to see it with love. So that's your, that's your challenge for the next two weeks. I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Let me know what surprising foods felt like self-love and which ones felt like self-sabotage, where you're at with this. Answer, I'll answer any questions you may have. And feel free to check out 
the link below to check out my the jumpstart tips if you haven't already watched them. This has been Eat With Intention. I'm your host, Cassandra Bazak, and I hope you tune in every Wednesday right here on YouTube so I can help you create a life that lights you up. Be sure to subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Have a good day.